Hello and welcome back. This is MC1 Gamer bringing you, uh, well, a little bit of a hobby update. So I'm sure that, you know, everybody who does tune into my channel uh, sees that the, most of the channel is dominated by Warhammer Age of Sigmar, previously Warhammer 8th Edition. And, uh, you know, I've dabbled into uh, quite a bit of Mordheim and uh, Bolt Action, uh, also, you know, some some various other games. Uh, you know, the, there's Frostgrave a, quite a bit of late as well. And uh, I, got a win, I got wind of this particular game. I really wasn't, you know, into the rules when I saw the rules for the uh, for night games for the Batman game. Although I probably could uh, could get a better demo. I, I mostly checked it out online and, and some video demos uh, online. But this one I took a look at and really took a dive into, you know, just run, trying to see what the mechanics were. And they're a little bit different. The games are not compatible, but I thought it was awesome. And I know that not only am I a fan of uh, of comic book, uh, you know, comic books in general and, and Marvel uh, quite quite a bit. My son is as well, so I thought this might be a fun game for us to play. You know, I play. I got him into Hero Clicks a few years back. He's now playing Warhammer. Um, he's played a little bit of X Wing. He might even get into Frostgrave uh, since I'm doing a demo and running a campaign, a little bit of a league uh, at one of the local shops. So, uh, but I saw this set and. It just recently launched within the past couple of weeks, and I'm already seeing some amazing uh, um, painting, and uh, some people are actually doing some analysis. But there's not a lot going on, and, and I and 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 I want to I want to help it grow because I think it's it's awesome. So one of the guys locally here um, in the North Jersey area uh, had some extras. I think he pre-ordered a couple of sets, and he gave me this for a pretty good deal. And I picked it up, and uh, I didn't want to wait to have to order it through one of the uh, my local contacts. And so I, you know, I, I, I got about the same deal I would have as with a, with a discount through my own contacts. And I thought that was excellent and I can get it right away. And he mailed it to me, got it within basically a day. Um, cause we're, you know, we're, we're literally driving distance from each other. In any case, um, I'm not going to do an unboxing. I'm sure that, you know, the other people have done it and you, you guys have seen it, but just wanted for anybody who doesn't know anything about this, this is the Marvel miniature game. The sculpts look really good. They look amazing, um, painted on the table and with cityscape, type uh terrain i think that the you know the, the game just looks amazing there's a there, there's an ever-growing supply out there of 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 mdf terrain you know buildings and banks and municipal buildings and housing uh you know street lamps and cars there's you know you can get cars die cast cars from you know from any local place uh, for probably pretty cheap but there's plenty of things even cardboard cutouts um, I plan on getting a bunch of this stuff. I still have some ruin stuff that I use for bolt action that I probably could just start with for now. I may do some foam board stuff with some color printouts, but I really want to get some nice terrain for this and really make it look good. Make it, you know, just make make the terrain look amazing. And I have uh, some a, a couple of city mats that I think I'm going to use for this as well, which I think will work out really nicely. But I might I might expand upon that. But just to give you a little bit of a close up, I'm sorry for any glare, uh, but yeah, that's that's those are the models. Okay, now those are really well painted, but I've seen some amazing paint jobs. You know, here's the X-Men, and uh, I, I cannot wait to to uh, to work on Colossus. Uh, I've seen some really nice jobs on the um, on uh, on uh, Cyclops, where they put his hair on, so that he, you know he's a throwback to an earlier version. I don't know if I'm going to do that, uh, but I might try. Guardians of the Galaxy. My son was mostly jazzed about this. I was interested in getting this one, but um, it was probably the third out of the two that I was going to pick up. Uh, had an opportunity to buy this as a lot, so I grabbed it. My son is absolutely gaga over Guardians of the Galaxy, and he really wants to see, you know, Nova on the table, too. He was thrilled. I picked up these guys as well. I'm not a huge Deadpool fan. I know that's probably not going to make people happy because so many people are into Deadpool. He's never really been anything that's hugely of interest to me. Uh, you know, but, but, you know, he's supposed to be great in the game and, you know, great on the table. And, you know, that this is the current release. Uh, really looking forward to uh, T'Challa, Black Panther on the table. The great thing about this is that there's there's one starter set uh, of of each of each of these uh, um, factions, and uh, the there's a, a singular character that's been released. Now there's a, a, a much larger model line, but they haven't been released with these rules. So uh, and and if any indication from the Night uh, Games 
release schedule with uh, from with the Batman miniature game, this is going to see this line is going to expand very fast. Villains and heroes, so I cannot wait to see how this develops, and I will definitely be checking it out. Um, and if, for you guys in the um, PMP, the Painters Motivating Painters on the Warhammer YouTubers community, uh, uh, anybody who doesn't know that, you should check it out if you're interested in any anything Warhammer related. Uh, we're doing factions. Uh, this is kind of a challenge and a motivation effort for people to get more paint on models for those who don't know that and haven't really tuned in and are not aware of it. Uh, and we all try to, you know, put out more painted models. It's really helped me up my game. And there's some amazing painters in that group. And uh, I just want you to know, this is going to be my submission for the uh, for the uh, spring challenge. I know it's not Warhammer, but, you know, we haven't limited it ever before really to Warhammer, even though most people do Warhammer related stuff. And uh, this is a faction. And I'm going to put one of these three is going to be uh, going to be my submission. I don't know which one I'm going to do. I'm kind of torn between X-Men and Avengers. But I am going to be focusing uh, away from some of the huge painting and converting projects to putting this stuff on the table with paint jobs. And then, of course, doing some demo videos and doing some local demos at stores. I've already got that lined up. So looking forward to it. Uh, and uh, keep keep tabs on it. Uh, if you have any interest or any questions, feel free to post them. And have a great day, everybody.